So it's um currently about three something p.m. on a Friday afternoon. Um, today is my fifth day of work where I'm working at now. Um, now like I mentioned, I work from eight a.m. to five p.m. Um, with an one hour lunch. So I go home for my lunch, which I only live about. It only takes me five ten minutes to get home, so I just go home for lunch and um. So far, everything's going good. Um. No, this company is not as big as where I used to work, so it's a lot smaller. Um, you know, so the so the first time I worked the eight to five o'clock shift. Um, actually, I never, I don't remember the last time where I worked. I had to t that I take an hour lunch. I think the last time I ever worked at a place where I take an hour lunch was um back in the mid two thousands. So. Um, has been a while since for me to happen to take an hour lunch. So, point is about taking out lunch is if I'm tired or whatever, I can, and I'm not really hungry, I can sleep. You know, uh, if I'm if I'm hungry and I'm tired, you know, half an hour, just I can't really do anything. But if by an hour, I can actually do more things. Uh, you know, if I'm not going home for lunch, I can just sit in the car and sleep. Um, you know, just set my alarm and. You know, um, and wake up. But um, other than that, um, no anxiety at work, nothing like that. Um, no problems with any coworkers. Um, no symptoms, anxiety symptoms. The only symptom I've been getting is the headache. Um, which might not be from anxiety. It might just be having a headache from having a headache. Uh, my body is a little sore because um, when I'm working, sometimes I have to get up. Um. Fire things, you know, sitting down, standing up, sitting down, standing up, and then doing some lifting here and there. Um, so you know, my body has to get has to get adjusted to to doing things like that, like I used to. But other than that, um, for the first first full week of work, uh, I think everything's going pretty good. Um, and I'm looking forward to moving on. You know, um, this is a temp agency that I'm working with, um, meaning it's temp to permit. So within six months or, or longer, if they like me, they can convert, convert me to permit. Um, if I had to stay here a few months and uh, it's longer than that as a permit, a uh, temp employee, I'm okay with that because, you know, I'm not in a hurry to become permit, you know, um, here. I, if, if they find me a better job, um, I can go to a different job. I can stay here, you know, for me to be, for me to be excited about working again, um, leaving my house, you know, doing the things I used to do without having panic attack is, um, is, it's a big deal. You know, when you have a panic disorder, um, it's hard for you to leave the house, if, especially even if you're not really housebound like I was. Uh, I'm no longer housebound, which I'm happy about. And, you know, um, if you are, just know that, um, every day you leave your house, you know, though, even if you're just going for a block, you know, if you keep going for a block and then the next, and then a month later you go for an extra block and the extra block, extra block, next thing you know it, um, your anxiety is going to decrease. You might say, but I'm only going for a block and then two blocks, then three blocks, and it's taking me, um, a full year just to go for a mile. Then you're going to look back and say, but at the same time, a year before that, how many blocks were you going? You were not going anywhere. You were just sitting at home wondering what it's like to, to have the freedom to leave the house, things like that. You know, for me, um, the biggest thing for me was just putting my foot off the floor and just walking to the kitchen, to the bathroom. I was getting panic attacks just going to the bathroom. I was getting panic attacks just going to the kitchen. So for me to even go to the backyard triggered me to have a panic attack. So I was fearful of just getting out, leaving my room. So for me to, you know, be able to go for a long drive, go on a little four hours trip, I went with my my parents and my sister um, this past Thanksgiving, you know, that that pushed me to the next level. By me going there, telling me that, oh, I can, I can, uh, I should be able to go work. And 
people at work, they don't know I have a panic disorder. They probably look at me and say, oh, if I told them I have panic disorder, they probably wouldn't even think I do. Because I'm getting to know the, my coworkers. You know, I'm joking around them, playing, talking to them like how I used to be. Um, keep in mind, when I start having panic attacks, I start picking up um, social anxiety. I would, I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to um, be around people because I, my mind was always like thinking this, thinking that. So for me to be around people like I am now, um, it it reminds me about how I used to be. You know, I'm always talking to people, talking to random people, and things like that. So. You know, sometimes if you say you want your old self back, go do the things that you used to do. Your, your mind knows anxiety. Your mind can also forget that you have anxiety by reminding it how you used to be. But for you to get back to the way you used to be, you have to do the things you used to do. Um, I'm not saying you have to go do everything that you used to do in one day. Um, you can take it, take it slow. Do one thing. And once you're comfortable with that, go do another thing. And then next thing you know it, your anxiety is going to decrease. Your symptoms, your sensations going to decrease, just like mine has. You know, I'm no longer depressed. I'm no longer housebound. A lot of my symptoms are gone. Um, the ones I still get, they don't bother me as much as they used to. And they don't last as long. But other than that, um, that's how my first week of work been going. And... Um, I'm looking forward to the next week, towards the next week, and, you know, and there's only so much more days left in this year, so, you know, I'm, this year has been, has some good, some bad, but, you know, I'm going to only go focus on the good, because if you focus on the bad, then that's all you, all your mind's going to want to focus on, but other than that, um, that's how everything been going all for me, for, well, for uh, everything um, that's how everything been going for me this past week, uh, my first full week of work.